Welcome back. A massive stock market turnaround showing Wall Street wasn't rattled by China's $50 billion retaliation to American tariffs. A President Trump firing back at critics, accusing him of sparking a trade war. So will today's opening bell prove the president right or are investors in for another wild ride? Here now to explain is investment strategist Lindsay Bell. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. So your first time on with us. Yes, it and is. And some crazy things to talk about. I mean, this all began on Monday when at one point the Dow was down 700 points, then it rebounded on Tuesday. And then yesterday, I was actually on uh, when the numbers first started coming out and it went down 500 points at one point. So then it rebounded. What is going on? I mean, it's a lot of uncertainty in the market yeah. right now with regards to these potential trade wars and the tariffs between the U.S. and China, $50 billion coming from both sides mm -hmm. um, right now. And that really spooked the market. Not only did the U.S. come up with their $50 billion on 1,300 items, but China's response was swift and it was retaliatory. Um, and I think that scared investors a little bit. But as the day proceeded, you saw a lot of the Trump administration's senior officials come on, not only this network but other networks right. and kind of talk down the tone of these tariffs and the, the potential for trade war. Larry Kudlow came on here even stating that that Trump was an open market guy. Right. Yeah. This is what he does. This is one of the reasons that he was voted into office. We had Charles Payne on yesterday and he was talking about that. You know, he said this is what people want him to do to take these chances. Um, here's what the president had to say. He said we're not in a trade war as you were just discussing. Uh, we are not in a trade war with China. That war was lost many years ago by the foolish or incompetent people who represented the U.S. Now we have a trade deficit of $500 billion a year with intellectual property theft of another $300 billion. We cannot let this continue. And then he makes a good point. Simply said, when you're already $500 billion down, you can't lose. Right. And you know what? There is the one thing that the uh, consumers and the um, investors should really remember is that, that when we look at these tariffs, $50 billion mm -hmm. on goods coming into the U.S., um, that's that's not kind of a drop in the bucket for us. It's yeah. less than 1%, 0.1 percentage point to economic costs And we for us. buy five times more goods from them. Exactly. So we have more room to retaliate against mm -hmm. them. So but really, it's a losing game And for there's China. a lot still to be left for negotiation as well, which is what you were mentioning. A lot of the White House folks, they got out in front of it yesterday and said, calm down. This is what's going on. And, you know, we're still negotiating. Exactly. Wilbur Ross came out and said the market reaction was absolutely overblown. This is Trump is he is a master negotiator. Mm -hmm. This is what he does. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I think he may go down as the most um, greatest of all time of, of presidents is if he is successful right. in negotiating these trade tactics. But but in the meantime, people want to know how does this impact me and the goods yeah. and services that I get, what I'm going to buy. We can take a look at a list of some of those from cheaper bacon to electronics, uh, potentially impacted by a possible trade war. American products will be, everybody can take a look at the two lists there, grain, seed, fruit. We mentioned the pork products, aircrafts, vehicles, and then the Chinese products. We mentioned those as well. They're tea, snack foods, processed food that type of thing. Yeah, I mean, I think you're already, the scary part is you're already starting to see some of this mm -hmm. um, pricing action take place Just yesterday. Just the anticipation. Exactly. Starting last year, mid last year, you saw steel prices start to rise because Trump, he actually campaigned on, on the steel and aluminum tariffs and mm -hmm. taking control of that situation. And that was the beginning. And now you're seeing yesterday with the most recent release of, of these potential tariffs is, you know, soybean prices are going down. You're seeing pork prices go down, which, right. you know, might benefit us here um, at the grocery store. But let's let's be honest, it, it hurts our farmers right. and that hurts the economy. Well, overall. everyone says um, everything's better with bacon. So what about yes. specifically <laughs> the cost of bacon? Well, the cost of bacon is going down because okay. if, if China's not buying it, then we're going to have more here, more supply here. So we right. won't have to fear. I think it was last summer we had the fear of the shortage of right, bacon. Right, right, right. Uh, yeah. So, okay. Well, thank you so much for joining <laughs> us. Appreciate it. We will see what happens and we'll see if everything changes if this trade war, in fact, doesn't happen. So, you know, a lot up for grabs right now. Thank mm -hmm. you.